Uh, then, on subject from own uh, mother, uh, thank you very much for bearing with me. Thank you, Luis. Professor Tashnet, would you like a comment sometime? Has five minutes. Uh, I actually uh, thank you very much, uh, and thank thank you, Professor Zambrano, for those uh, interesting comments. I really don't have very much to add. Um, I think. Um, my reaction to uh, the comments was that uh, it illustrated two things. First, um, the, the difference between our presentations illustrated uh, sort of two aspects of um, how one does uh, constitutional law. Uh, so one is, the, I, I focused on matters of institutional design and uh, implementation, uh, which rest on assumptions about human capacity and human flourishing and the like. Uh, and Professor Zabrano uh, focused on uh, the latter, that is a, a more, uh, philosophical foundations for uh, the very idea of democracy. Another way of putting it is, I took the idea of democracy for granted and was talking about how it could work out, uh, how you could work it out. Uh, Professor Zambrano examined why we should think that constitutional democracy is a good thing in the first place in terms of uh, human capacity. Um, I, um, I just note that uh, as, um, as again, as I put it, illustrating two different but complementary ways of thinking about constitutions. Um, and I, I, you know, well, I typically ordinarily think the way uh, I express myself in my comments and then read and reflect on uh, the foundational kinds of things that uh, Professor Zambrano uh, talked about. Uh, I confess I, I didn't have, uh, I didn't hear anything that I uh, would disagree with in Professor Zambrano's presentation. I suppose the one footnote that I would add to my own presentation is that um, everything I had to say was set against a background uh, of um, um, limitations on exercise of power pursuant to international human rights norms.